Well, this is going to be the new scaled-down White House if Obama doesn't get things in order pretty soon with Congress and spending. Yeah, guess what? We went through the uh, fiscal cliff. No problem. So we got the fiscal pork barrel now. and Now it's floating back up to the uh, debt ceiling, and it's going to hit the debt ceiling and bounce and or whatever is going to happen. Actually, that's going to be the major fiscal pr- flight. And the news media, even in major news media, is actually commenting on it. You know, we got through the fiscal cliff. It was pretty ugly for some parts of it. And then uh, now we got the, the fiscal ceiling when the budgets start really uh, running out of steam because spending cuts will have to take place because you hit your debt limit. And uh, just looking at this clock, actually the first time I checked it today, you know, I remember um, you know, we're talking about it's going to be almost $16 trillion. Well, it blew right through there, so... <laughs> going to keep going. Now, this is the thing where I was saying Bernanke is faking us out big time. Major. Major. Big time. And Bernanke, you know, I offered him a beer before to try to get the silver price up. We don't listen, so I don't know. Maybe we got to get this brother to conk him over the head with this beer. But, um, you know, he's uh, made this statement about, you know, or some people made some statements at the FOMC meeting that possibly QE would end. It actually was the major media cherry-picking statements out of that. But the thing is, I think I'm really smelling a complete fake-out. Now, there's another story out there, and this is really interesting, really, really bullish for gold in a lot of ways because, first off, they got to, well, look at at the scam that's going on. They had to bring it down because it's going to go up. They're going to only bring it down so much with this stuff about ending QE, which is going to be impossible. I know that. They're not going to get unemployment down to 6.5%, and they're not going to get, you know, no matter how they measure it or whatever, and they're not going to get down uh, inflation to 2.5%. Actually, inflation is like a dragon lurking behind the scenes. If any of those banks break ranks who are holding all the dollars, Forget it. We're going to have rapid inflation. If all the money printing that was going on with the, with QE actually gets into the real economy, we're going to have rampant inflation, big time. So he's he. It's right on the edge, actually, where we could have rampant inflation. I'm not just blowing smoke up here. You know, I'm telling you the absolute truth. It's almost like a little bit counterintuitive, and everybody'd be feeling really confident if silver was going up. But you know, right now it's sitting pretty flat, sitting right around thirty. So, like, buyers are moving into the market, and that spot market actually is working. Now, here's my real point on this thing. So, uh, you know, kick back, have a beer like with the girls here. You know, she's got a nice beer in her hand. And listen to it. Basically, <clears throat> what they're talking about, and you might have heard this, they're talking about the one way to solve the debt. So you saw it's like $16.5 trillion almost now, is to mint a coin. You take a platinum coin. You mint it, you take some platinum, you mint a platinum coin, and you value it at a trillion dollars. Then you go deposit it in the treasury. But here go, what does that mean? <laughs> it's almost like everything the silver bugs and everybody, all the gold bugs, been telling you all along. Silver, gold, platinum, palladium, and I say platinum and palladium, are going to the moon. That they're all, all four of them are going to the moon. Real assets that people can actually readily trade, well, actually gold and silver would be the better ones for that, and use his money, are going to go to the moon. It's kind of funny that they actually suggested that, well, there's one way around this, instead of just, we can only we can only allow to print so, money, so much money, but we can mint coins and value them at different rates. Yeah, that's okay. You know, I got platinum, I'll, that'll be trillions for me too, right? I'll deposit the coin. How's that? You know, you give me the trillion dollars, and I'll buy up all those mortgage-backed securities at face value that the Federal Reserve has. How's that? I'm not owning all the property. Anyway, that would be pretty greedy of me, but, you know, maybe that's what I would do. That's what they do. But uh, that's actually been floated around. Serious business. I'm not talking, you know, I'm not talking about some conspiracy site out there telling. I'm talking about top economists actually floating around that stupid idea about minting a platinum coin and depositing it in a tr- U.S. Treasury and the value of that coin would be at a trillion dollars. But that almost hints at what things to come. Now, I'm not going to say gold is going to go up to $50,000 an ounce. Actually, it would have to be at least $50,000 an ounce to cover all the dollars out there. But at one point in time, I think uh, some of these things might come about. You know, they probably will lose control. That's the one thing I'm looking at. 
Now, when you get Granny pissed off, you know this is the this this is the broad you really don't want to piss off. You know the White House is done. The White House is done. She'll come riding in there on her motorcycle and tear some heads off, especially if they try to pass this bullshit gun control. And you know I gotta ad lib a little bit on this gun control. Gun control, and it's a good. You can make it guns or guns, not gun control. Guns. Gun control to me means good shooting, but guns. Compare it to silver in a different way. You know, do you want physical silver or do you want electronic silver, paper silver? Do you want a physical gun or do you want an electronic gun or a paper gun? You know, what good is a paper gun going to do you? What good is an electronic gun going to do you? No good, right? You want a real gun, just like with real money. Do you want real silver? I know right now, I know, electronic markets work, but, you know, when these guys are already floating ideas about a trillion dollar coin to be deposited, to be minted, and then, you know, a platinum coin to be minted, then valued at a trillion dollars and deposited in the treasury. That hints at things to come. You know? That does really hint at things to come. That wasn't coming from, you know, you know, one of the people out there to tell you all about silver going to the moon and stuff. It was coming from the top economist in the White House. So, you know, they they, they start playing games like they've been doing. Oh, Granny's going to tear them up. And, uh... This is probably going to be the future White House for Obama here, a little scaled down a model. You know, he can hang out there and say, you know, I'm for change. And, you know, the change he's talking about, I guess, is change. Like change, you know, nickels, dimes, silver, you know, dimes, quarters, you know, the ones pre-1964. That's the kind of change. He's for change. He's the type. He's for change. Silver change, gold change, that type of stuff. No paper stuff, no fiat. So anyway, that's going to be my update, but it looks like they're seriously floating. I saw this story before, but they, it's been circulating. It's actually around in the major media. A trillion dollar coin to be, you know, a coin to be minted out of platinum and, uh, you know, deposited in the freaking treasury valued at a trillion dollars. And, you know, they're seriously, well, that's one way to alleviate the debt. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, they could revalue gold at like $50,000 an ounce, silver at, you know, Two thousand dollars an ounce. Yeah, that'll, that'll alleviate the debt, no problem. I agree with that. That's, I think it's a great policy. You know, if Obama does that, I'm going to wish I did vote for him. I didn't vote for him, but you know, if he does that, if he really meant, you know, we are change. When he said we are change, you know, he was talking about coins and revaluing them up really high. You know, that, that's a cool idea. I'm all for him. So anyway, but you know, to make up for the uh, low. Uh, accommodations in this new White House, uh, old girl is going to be your housekeeping assistant, so Obama, have a good time, you know, throw out the other one you, over there, J how, um, Gerard, you miss Valerie Gerard, it's giving you a hard time, you don't need her around, that's for sure.